Hello folks, uh, this is Kiki, uh, doing parts 17 and 18. Uh, our current mission is that we are to destroy a fuel depot uh, hidden behind a uh, abandoned church. And it seems that we're possibly in uh, France. Uh, kind of in the midpoint of France, maybe. Uh, sometime during the uh, Allied... Uh, Invasion of post Normandy, uh, possibly uh, in the midst of the 101st, uh, reconnecting with the uh, Normandy landers. Uh, anyway, that's what it's kind of going towards and feeling like, as as far as I can tell. Uh, as you can see here, we're working more in squads rather than it's just your ability. Uh, teamwork seems to be one of the main features here, as you can notice uh, all through this video. Uh, green forces have crawled, they've dived, they've provided covering fire for each other. Uh, they've advanced on their own, uh, pretty much take out targets uh, on their own. Uh, pretty much they move as you move. So. Uh, that's kind of a kudos to 3DO there for trying to come up with some sort of squad element uh, to their Army Man game. Again, the uh, Army Man 3D also had a uh, where you can command your squad mates, but uh, unfortunately that was taken out. And this is one of the few times where I wish it was back because this this is really cool here. Uh, you, and uh, I mean, it's really cool here. You got Tan shooting out of buildings. You have friendlies that are advancing on the position, taking cover and point positions. Uh, you've got every, everybody just working together as a squad here. Uh, and also, the reason that I'm saying this uh, kind of post Normandy invasion in France is when you get to uh, part 18. Uh, but for right now, like I said, just pay attention to the level of detail here and uh, kind of how things are going. And just bear with me. Like I said, if you think I'm wrong, go ahead and go wrong. But this is just kind of based on what I'm thinking. Anyway, it looks like there's a tan jeep ahead. Let's go ahead and take it out. Okay, let's take it out. No, I said let's take it out. Well, the... Uh, Auto aim isn't working, so let's go ahead and just manually aim this sucker in. Let's wait till the Jeep is just enough in range and then should be able to get a good shot on it. A little more. There we go. And that's kind of what I was talking about in another video of uh, audio, auto aim and uh, regular aim. Uh, some of the Army Man series. Uh, abuses the heck out of auto-aim. Uh, even in the World at War series, the auto-aim seems to be one of the more things that 3DO is tr was trying to push. And once I do playthroughs of the other uh, World at War games, you'll kind of see what I'm meaning there. Uh, so it looks like we're getting near the end of this, possibly, or there could be a whole lot more. Uh, also, if you notice, the uh, detail here is getting better and better, so uh, that kind of means that my computer might not be able to process it and record it. Uh, from this part at 18, uh, once these get updated, I'm going to use a smaller frame rate just to compensate for the extra textures. But, like I said, uh, kudos to 3 for actually having a... Uh, taking the war into Army Man and actually doing it. Uh, rather than uh, just one guy and you pwn everything. And it looks like we took out our uh, fuel depot without me noticing with a lucky grenade chuck. So let's go on to part 18. 
Uh, and it looks like the tan has stopped to the green army and some head roads outside the skirt of the city. And we have to t uh, escort a tank to destroy the enemy tan tanks. And we have to do this in 10 minutes. As you notice, I've got a squad of six guys and a tank. And they'll be doing their own actions and commands while we're doing ours. And see, notice how my guy out uh, does combat rolls and adjusts positions to get the shots on uh, enemy infantry. See, again, I I have to really give it the 3DO here for giving some darn good AI here. Uh, don't know why they saved all this good AI for the end, but it definitely does give it a nice war feel, a very different feel from all the other Army Man games. Uh, anyway, the only problem here is our mission is to take out enemy tanks, but yet there's no uh, anti-tank weaponry. This could be pr this could be problematic, and one of our guys just got hit by a, by a bomb strike. And uh, he's wounded, got hit by frag mission, uh, so he's knocked out. He's not dead. He's just knocked out. Kind of odd, considering. But they let him live instead of die. And now we have the screwball AI. See, they changed the infantry AI for these last parts, but they didn't change the tank AI. Uh, meaning that the tank AI will always sh focus on you rather than anything else that's going on. And why is the green tank having pointing its gun back behind it? Uh, and shooting nothing. Er, uh, okay. Anyway, well, at least there's a guy there we can take out. Um, also, like I said, here's where the detail gets a little bit too much for my processor to handle. Uh, my current frame rate is at 15, and uh, I'm going to change that to 10. And lesson one, don't dilly dally in front of the green tank. The tan tank just blasted me. Anyway, here, we'll do, I'll try this one again. I said, just look at the squad here. They can cover, supporting each other, getting into positions. I wish I could man the turrets on that. Make make my job a thousand times easier, but can't. And you also notice that the auto aim is monkeying up a bit. That's just due to the lag. And this will actually kill me later on. Uh, I'm gonna try and not save state through this mission uh, the best I can. But if it starts taking like too many attempts, I'm just going to force feed it. And I know I've been save state abusing a lot lately. Uh, but I'll try to k knock that off. Uh, it's just like some of these missions, like that one gray mission, I mean that escort to tank mission before with the, on the blue territory one. Just the AI was way too much, the one man I'm in, being too accurate, so I, I had to. Or silly things like how to change a train switch, but uh, beyond that I will try to uh, not abuse them as much. Looks like my guys are waiting on me, so... Going to advance up. Looks like even the tank is providing covering fire for us and taking out some enemies. The enemy that was hiding there. And it looks like there's an enemy stuck in running position. He can't do anything, no. He's just stuck in running. And now we got the ridiculous of why I hate tank AI. And I'm slowly getting uh, pwned here. But notice that while I'm over here, the tank is focused entirely on me and not on the green tank. Killing me in the process. I had nowhere where I could run to. Uh, 
It was only shortly after that they killed the tank. But, like I said, it's just a minor annoyance. Like I said, th this mission does look like it's doable. It's just really laggy. And this is also why I think we're in northern France. Just the hedgerow to hedgerow fighting and the uh, in town house to house fighting uh, does really look like it gives the feel of being in northern France during the Allied invasions like Market Garden and stuff like that. And I don't know how far they're going to go with this. Well, I think we're nearing the end of the game. I don't know yet, though. As, like I said, there's no uh, game FAQs and there's no uh, LPs of this, so I'm playing this entirely blind. But uh, I think this is near the end. Well, once I get through with this, I'll go ahead and move on to the next Army Man game. Um, like I said, if, uh, due to the fact that there's not a lot of, uh, LP videos of the other Army Man games, I'm going to go ahead and do them. And there's not really much to talk about here. Like said, uh, so, uh, like I said, I hope you guys have been enjoying my LPs. I noticed there's been likes and dislikes, uh, if you dislike something about my videos, just tell me why you disliked it so I can improve. Don't just dislike it and run off. There's so little views on it anyway. I really would like to know what I can do better. Uh, but staying that again. And uh, to Magshay, if he's watching, uh, uh, please post finish your LPs first before starting some more. Like, you already got four LPs up that I've been wanting to watch that you've never never finished. You just jump on to the next one. Uh, so, uh, please finish it. Please finish, especially Castlevania Bloodlines. Uh, and I'll, I'll be finishing up my LPs as well. A lot of them I have footage on. I just need the uh, like credits for what tracks I use and whatnot. But uh, we'll see how it we'll go with this. And like I said, uh, let me know. Also, uh, if there's any LPers out there who want to do a co-op or something with me, let me know, and I will be happy to do one with them. And here's where the game starts really lagging down, and this is where I'll be calling it a video, too. But you can definitely tell how the game's grinding. But, uh, like I said, I'll, I'm signing out. Uh, thank you.